Ezekiel pia kwenda huko nayo kanzo yake. Kwa kanisa kuna wivu mingi, kuna wachawi wengi wamejificha kuna waganga. Ah, kwa kanisa. Eh, kwa kanisa. Mapasta wengi siku hizi wao ni madivaina, wengine ni ni wai. Sijui ni sema nini kama makenzi ni baba yao. Baida, baida, mwana inyanya, mwana mabe, mwana. Heyo heyo mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima Disney number one online TV channel. I'm Harry Rich aka Vida Omana Yanya the number one romantic lawyer man. Keep on watching, subscribing and supporting to Stories at 254. <laughs> hey there, Doris Moto here and welcome to Stories at 254, home of entertaining entertainment where we educate you, entertain you and inform you at the same time. And today I'm super excited. I'm hanging out with the Vida hitmaker. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Ebuji introduce. I'm Harry Richie, as you know. Vida, the number one lawyer romantic man. Yes. Wow. So after, yani after umetuango makama yona ika trend everywhere, everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. Ata mtu mwenye understand the language and ipena na na vibe to it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Good. 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 I feel good and I thank God. Mm -hmm. So ili kufungulia njia gani? Because niliona after the song you got to meet so many people from politicians to normal people. Yeah, just exposure and knowing much that is out that is hidden out there. Mm. I what to kwa mtando anasema that we ulikuwa msani wa gospel katika gospel kaingia secular. And I'm still a gospel artist. So there's nothing like gospel and secular. Your relationship with God is supposed to be inner. Na ni kitu personal. So I may expose myself as an uh, a saved man. But uh, in the hiding the things that I do which are not in line with God what God wants, you know. So mambo ya secular na gospel mimi sijui. Mimi bora niimbe msichana, nikimtongoza na kuwe mzuri kwangu nitaimba utamu wake kwangu. Yes. So how could you gospel? Mimi ni mtu wa Mungu bwana, mimi niko gospel hata vaida ni mbaya Mungu. Ah, yes. yes. Sina sifa Mungu sana support harusi. Watu wa wana wakae pamoja na usichiti mwanzako. That's what I I'm explaining in that song. So that's gospel. Gospel is love. If you don't if you didn't know that. Gospel is love and love is God. And now Vida is a love song. So it's a gospel song. So why do you think most artists wana tukanga secular wana ingia gospel? Wana tukanga gospel wana ingia secular? Kwa kanisa kuna wivu mingi, kuna wachawi wengi, wamejificha kuna waganga. Uh, kwa kanisa, eh, hey, kwa kanisa. Mapasta wengi siku hizi wivu ni madivaina, wengine ni, ni wali. Sijui ni seme, ni kama makenzi ni baba yao. No, no. So, me I prefer, ara nikiwa church, ni sijio nyeshe niko church. Naeza kuwa niko church, lakini mwewe unaona niko siko church. That's why wakati niko hapa, oh, uh, wacha niko ambia. Unaweza guess nini na nimefanya the last 10 minutes? Ai siwezi jua. I was praying. Wow. But you can know that. Naona. So hiyo ni vitu personal zenye atfai kuje expose. So watu wako church wanajionanga they are wana overdue salvation. I think mimi maokoka lazima uvae suit kama mtu wa pastor war na blanket hata kama kuna jua no bwana. Wokovu ni raw. Yes. Alafu kama hii story ya Pastor Ezekiel, una feel maybe kama ni government inajaribu kumpiga ama ni kweli anafaa ku investigate. Sijai fatilia vitu za Pastor Ezekiel because mimi injili yake na yangu mimi haielewani because uh, most of the time yeye wana condemn vitu za kina marasta, mara majina. So we never chose to be called who we are, we are being called today. Our parents who named us now na is majina. So mzazi aweze kuita jina yenye nataka kuwa. What we do nafaa ambia watu kwa meitwa jina fulani unaenda una go against unaona vile ile jina inaweza kuwa ina define in the realm of the spirit si at mimi najunaitwa Karo siwezi enda kuoleka juna shuka rasta siwezi fanya nini Ezekiel pia kwenda huko nayo kanzo yake alafu nasikia unaenda India unaenda India kufanya apeleza je unaenda kuimba kuimba unaenda India wapi exactly New Delhi alafu na kijingine sijui inaitwa nini I don't know mimi bora nifike India that's it na niimbe na nilipwe yeah. <laughs> hey, first of all, you feel like I feel good, but I feel better when uh, I arrive there. Mm. But you know, you are industry, by the way, serious. You know, maybe out there, people think it's just a kawaida day to na mkala funa chipato na ndaku perform India. Ebo ambia, ebo ngeli shawa sani wenye wana ingia kwa industry, ma onyo kwa industry. Masani mkuwe patient na muombe, mupige maombi, paka magoti chuchuke. And then, muskuwe na pupa na haraka ya pesa sana. Kuna pesa nyingi unaweza kaziwa, kuna pesa nyingi unaweza poteza, kuna pesa nyingi unaweza miss mali, but definitely due time 
what goes around comes around. Hiyo pesa itawarudia tu nyinyi. So it's just a matter of time gaining experience, associating with the right people around you and then ukikuja you come in a different way. Don't copy anyone. Just be you. Yes. Alafu kuna kitu nyinyi imekuwa ikisaculate kwa kwa sijui kama uliona ile time ya wasafi festival kuna venye diamond aliingia kwa stage sijui yake kwa coffin mm -hmm. na yani watu wanakuwa wakisema wasanii wa, inabidi ndio kwa msanii wa kuchipuka yani mnajulikana sana lazima ufanye vitu za ajabu ajabu kama hizo una feel aje so inategemea unajua mtu kama diamond mimi simuone kama kwa na talent ni ile alipata tu opportunity that's why ameweza kusign kwa label yake na signing wale watu kama Rayvanny wamemwandikia manyimbo tunajua watu kama huyu jamaa mwenye ameimba sijui nini wamemwandikia Diamond manyimbo mingi Love Diamond nyimbo zake za mapiano sasa anakopa anakopi Nigeria na South Africa unaona so wewe ni mtu wana talanta nyota imeshaenda ni kama socket tu iko kwa ukuta na ina moto so watu wanaona Diamond lakini hana so hizo vitu nyanafanya ni nataka kusika attention ya watu unaona na mimi naelewa that's why ngoma za Diamond na za Tanzania wengi sana ni kama ngoma ni kama moto ya magazeti inaishanga haraka sana. Ni hasa nikukumbushi nikuulize ngoma Diamond ya kwanza unaweza ikumbuka? Mbagala. Mbagala. Okay, ngoma ametoa ika hit last year ni gani? Alianza vizuri lakini sasa hivi unaona hakuna ngoma inaweza endelea. Basi ni watu nakaa chini we can take even a year. But wakati tuna release hiyo kitu itasikizwa na ita relate na jamii na ina any news unaona vitu kama so those what we are focused on. Na hizo vitu zenye damu na nafanya za blood fact. Mr. Simtambui by the way. Mimi sikizangi nyimbo za Diamond. Mwenye anafuata Diamond ni mtu mwenye anataka tu pia kukua kama ye. So me he's not my I has ni motivate mali. I has ni inspire with anything. Yeah. Na bahati kuva dress. Bahati mgani? Huyu okay, kijana mdogo wa Mamarwa. Mwenye alikuwa anataka kuwa MP. MP wa Mathari. MP. MP member of parliament ama monthly period. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mimi sitaka kuongelea watu lakini I think ni kiki wanafanya ndio wapate ma brand na bibi yake. Najua sometimes muziki ikisha inabidi hata mimi kama muziki wangu ikisha mimi nitarudi kwa mjengo. Sasa yeye muziki juu imeisha inabidi wafanye vitu za uchokora ndio wapate ma brand na vitu zingine. Sasa hiyo ni yao mimi sitaka kuingilia maisha yao. Wafanye vizuri lakini wafanye wakijua wanazaa watoto kesho watoto watarudi kuwatch zile vitu. Na kama mzee na wisdom nitakuwa imemuingia aone kama ta feel comfortable to see their daughters or their grand daughters and sons doing the same. You know when uh, I support to do something that is going to educate and fami familiarize na itakuwa iko na vile tuliraiziwa na familia yetu ya Africans let us keep the culture na dignity in the community Kikimalizia kwa hiyo kwa kongoma yako Vaida what is your favorite line Vaida Vaida unange kwa hivi ndo unange kwa hivi means call me call me I come and give you some goodies. Goodies include so many things. Mimi napenda tu when I love you you are in a relationship with you maybe I'm, you are married to me you are in need of anything just call me I'll give it to you. So that's what I mean in that. Unange huwevin. Yes. Wow. Maybe last words hmm? to our fans last words. Kama fans wako tumalizie. Fans nawapenda sana. Hata wale mnanitusingi nawapenda sana. Na wale mnanichukia bado nawapenda sana. Definitely mtanipenda tu sababu mimi ndo niko. Mwendele kuni supporti, nishike mkono because I'm the number one ever West and East Africa who hit 5 million na venakula song hata kuna wadi ya kiswahili ndani moja unaona within a, in a span of months before even a year 5 million alafu nimepata exposure na vitu zingine mingi na sababu yenu bila nyinyi misi yuko na bila nyimi pia nyinyi amta yinikuwa entertained ndaendelea kusikiza vitu za kina bahati vitu za kina diamond vitu za kina nani za kina kofi hilo mimi naona wamezeeka wameanza kupaka dai kwa kichwa mimi nashindwa huyu mzee anafanya anavaa vinyasa anafanya fanya hivi na kwa na wasichana anyway mimi nitashiriki kilia tu mkondo wangu wa gospel na love songs na mambo iendelee mbele thank you thank you Asante. subscribe to my youtube channel and keep on supporting me god bless you are you married no can you marry me tutaongea hapo nyuma <laughs>